Liver cancer is very prevalent. As we know, as people are living longer and more people nowadays have taking alcohol, so the trend of uh, liver diseases are turning up. So the, these cancers, interestingly, only 10 to 15 percent of them are actually could be resected or surgically corrected. So 80 to 85 percent of patients have no other goal. Interventional radiology revolutionized the delivery of treatment for liver cancers. Um, interestingly, there are three major subsects we can address the cancer. Number one is we're putting a tiny needle and either you are freezing it or you're making it heating up. So you put a needle and take down temperature in minus 40 degrees, this cancer is going to crystallize and you thaw them back and recrystallize them. So you're by doing this fluctuating temperature, they're going to crystallize and die. The other option is you're putting a needle and slow heat them and allowing the temperature to rise between 50 to 70 degrees and you're allowing this cancer to die and denature. And we take this needle back and you go, you go with just a band-aid. The next one is delivering particles through very small tubes going through the groin or through a wrist. And these catheters are as less than one millimeter size. We go as close to the cancer as possible and deliver these particles which have chemotherapeutic particles and released there where you want it. So the concentration of the chemicals of chemotherapy is so high, it kills the cancer. Now, in addition to what we are doing as we are releasing particles, we are also cutting down the blood supply to them. The blood supply is basically you're closing the door and releasing wolves into it. And interestingly, these patients, again, are well tolerated because you have no side effects of these chemotherapeutic agents. So that is the beauty of this delivery system because it's targeted delivery. You're delivering only to the cancer, you're killing only the cancer and not the liver. So you're preserving your own body and not damaging anything. Surveillance is very important. Once you get treated, you still have to uh, get uh, CAT scans or MRIs or some sort of imaging to follow these things up, make sure nothing pops up and we can try to keep the disease burden down. We have excellent hepatologists here, liver transplant surgeons, and we work in a coordinated effort in order to improve outcomes for our patients, whether they're hopefully get a transplant down the road or surgical resection down the road or whether they're just going to go through chem uh, chemotherapy or other options. And we have, a, I think, a pretty big role in that. Interventional radiology is kind of thought of as uh, especially kind of in the background of things, but I think with some of the more recent therapies we've come up with, uh, we've gone to more of the forefront. We're heavily involved with uh, multiple specialties in, in treating uh, many of these tumors.